In this third tutorial we are going to make the Evolix LiftKit control works. For it, we are going to learn how to read variables defined in Rapid. We go to Visual Studio Code and open our project. If you don't have the project done visit the two previous tutorials. The first thing we are going to do is to define a function with which we will update the current position tag of the application. For it we will read the current value of the variable current pos, let's see how it works. The first thing we do is to create a variable called data where we will store the address of the variable to read. With the next line we make the controller to update to the last value of the variable. With the third line we get the data and finally we update the value of the label. Next, we define another function called setPos with which we will update the position of the lift kit. For this we write in the variable rapid current position the target that we want to move the device, generate a pulse with the output change. And finally we call the load current pos function we just created. After defining our functions, we go to the up button and add the next lines. Here we will read the current value of the up limit and update the position of the lift kit by sending the value of the variable to the function set pos. For the down button, we do something similar, but with the low limit variable. With the stop button we simply create a pulse on the stop output and update the current position label after 0.15 seconds to give the smart component time to update the current position. In the move to button, we get the values of move to, up limit, and low limit. Evaluate the data entered by the user. If it is valid, we update the value. But if it is not, a pop-up will be shown on the screen. The next thing we will do is to create another function to initialize the input items with the current value of the rapid variable that they are connect. And we update the declarations of the input elements. The last step is to include the pop-up library in the HTML file. We save everything and go to the robot studio. Here we activate the simulation. Next we open our application in the flex pendant. We must update the upper virtual limit for example to 650 millimeters. If we press up the device moves up. Pressing down it moves down. And pressing stop it stops. Always updating its current position on the label. If we enter for example 300 in the move to text input field and press the button, it moves to the specified position. But if we enter for example 700 and press the button, an error message appears. If we update the maximum position and press the button again, it will move without problems.